Hey everybody and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got the finals here. The hyperspace trial in Durham, North Carolina. This match between Chad and Jason. Chad flying Tim and Bastion, Jess Pava and Finn. I believe we had him in one of the first rounds, maybe the first round um, of this hyperspace trial. I like to think that I set him up for success. He might disagree with that. Uh, on the other side, we've had Jason, who uh, who also flew on stream yesterday, to uh, to success. Um, the only separatist player to make it into the top eight, and one of only two players to have non-republic and resistance lists. Um, and he's uh, he's been doing well so far. We followed him pretty much. I think he was. Uh, I think he's been in all of our top eight matches, right? Um, easy to root for uh, Separatists in this current meta. Uh, but uh, also Chad. Chad doing his own thing. Um, nice to see Composure Timmin out there uh, and the big beefy Finn Pod. A lot of people have variations of their own T70 lists, but this is Chad's. There are many like it, but this one is his. And we've seen this deployment uh, all tournament long from Jason. Starts facing the top of the board. Um, probably going to throw those probe droids out the back and give himself more time to gather up those calculates and hopefully get some target locks before he engages. Big shout out to uh, Galactic, Galactic. Nope, that's a different store. Um, Atomic Empire for the uh, accommodations here. Love the fact that they have beers on tap. So if I get nice and sloppy during this game, you'll know why. I take no responsibility. We do have uh, grappling struts on these drones, so they are happy to hang out near these big rocks. We've seen Jason use pretty good use of those struts doing the old sit and spin throughout this tournament. So he keeps the. So normally we see um, Jason keep those calculates on the front ships, but I think he he actually keeps those calculates on the ships who are most likely to engage first. So he keeps them on those back ships um, for whenever he turns in. Uh, he'll come into that engagement double calculate. See the probe droid come out. So let's go ahead and take him out of the overlay. charge spent there and yeah it looks like he's gonna move that uh, probe droid in the middle you know it's, it's leading his target right he's getting out in front of those t-70s could be a little dangerous could could get shot before it can do anything but uh, could be in the exact right place we did see Jason's probe droid last game eat a few more shots than you might think it should have talk about uh, best coast pairings in the chat man I i've been lucky that every event that i've gone to has been ttt because it's really good for the uh the overlay the fact that i can just copy xws data and paste it into the overlay is so nice
Yep, there's the 4 forward. We saw this last round as well. Um, deploys that probe droid, and then he gets some distance so that he can have a free turn to target lock. Yep, here's a series of calculates. Kraken gonna allow three of those ships to have two calculates. Three speed maneuver from just there. Finn, double focus from perceptive co-pilot. Ah, pattern analyzer. I was like, is that red? No, that's right. The old PA. Yeah, Timus says, drop another probe droid in the end phase. Yeah, he always does. I think we'll see that one come out the back. More of a, a flanking probe. Boost out of Tim Bastion. Timmons in the back. Yellow dots. Initiative four moves, moves uh, last. Four forward from Grievous. goes for a lock. Nicely done. This is exactly what Jason wants. He wants these turns where he gets free target locks. There's Timon. Yep, there's the failed boost, composure triggers, and gives him a focus. Looks like we're going to get some shots on that probe. Nothing for Timon. Oh, he's, he's going for the target lock, that's right. See, Smooth says he hates those composure shenanigans. I like them. Maybe I haven't had to fly against it too much. But like, give give Tim and something to do. Give composure one ship that it's really good on. Uh, there's a range two, it looks like, from Bastion. Does he does he catch it? Jess is the red T7. No, Jess is the blue T70. Wait, no, you're right. Let me double check that. Wait, we can <laughs> we can do it right there. Yeah, Jess is in the middle. She's the red one. That's my fault. Thank you guys for being more observant than me. Boom. Jess is red. Bastion is blue, and now all is right with the world. Would you believe that I had like 30 minutes to set up for this game? Rookie says he likes composure on Sabine in the shuttle too. Yeah, that, that interaction between like a comm shuttle 
uh, Sheetha P docked inside of a ghost, and composure is kind of fun. Evoking, yeah, that is correct. That is the uh, interaction. I'm gonna go get those. Uh... Oh, we had the uh, the probe die. Oh, poor little feller. Uh, I'm gonna go move those dice. Okay, you guys were talking about the attack shuttle, Sabine, that can uh, boost your barrel roll before her movement. Yeah, it's a good use for composure as well. But I think when, when 2.0 came out, we all looked at composure as training wheels. Um, but no, there's some, there's some nice little places where it fits in. So at least in the past, this is generally where Jason would turn in. But he still hasn't had that round of target locks that he wants. He's His probe droid should be in range at least of Jess. Do have a stressed uh, fin? Let's see what the blue maneuvers are on the pod. It's they're not. There's not a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, he's got one and two forward and one banks. Let's see if he does a two forward towards that rock. Get a little, a little dangerous there. Okay, so they are going to turn, and yeah, here we, we see the, uh, the target lock turn. Definitely a relatively safe place to do it. They're about as far away as they could be. Yellow climbs aboard the rock. Grappling struts engaged. Takes a target lock. So everybody's going after Bastion. Interesting choice there. Yep, four forward with the bomber. Grievous will move after. 
Let's see who did have uh, player one. That'll make a difference for uh, for Tim and, and Grievous. Bastion moves up with a one. I wonder if he's trying to keep up with Finn here. Leaves the stress. Double focus with the perceptive co-pilot. Boy, I love those focus tokens. Those hyperspace uh, rewards. I think so. Grievous moves in and bumps the bomber. I think he's already got a lock. Now it looks like so it looks like Finn is locked by three ships. And Timon is locked by two? Three. Okay. So half on Timon, half on Finn. Those are the stronger ships in uh, in Chad's list, so decent priority there. Uh, all right, I think we're attacking the probe here. <laughs> Three Natty of Eighths from the probe. That's got to be uh, pretty rage inducing there. <laughs> yeah. Like saying it's one, uh, one slippery probe. Gross. Gross. Why do we let him in here? Mike, I'm about to slip trying to reply to you and accidentally hit that block user button. <laughs> That's not real. Don't listen to his lies. So yeah, Finn, he might be able to fit another one in there and barrel roll, but uh, might see him bank. Not great, uh, not a great looking formation here for Chad. And unable to knock out that probe droid. Maybe he's looking at that timer. He sees he's got a hundred minutes. Maybe it's worth just uh, hanging out here, taking out that probe droid, <laughs> going into the next engagement. A little later. Tano, thanks for the follow. So I imagine we'll see yellow sit and spin. Blue and brown up there. Or sorry, yellow and brown. Shazbot. Isn't that a... Uh, Speedrunning bot. 
Oh boy. Well, thanks for joining us. Yellow spins. Grievous has a one hard, right? Yeah, he's got a white one hard. The question is, does he turn into engage here, or does he sort of play a little more cagey, let the drones and the bomber engage? Because he's definitely been a great in-game piece um, in the tournament so far. Nice little two bank onto the rock here. So struts uh, do limit ships on a rock to two. bank and a calculate little uh, sit and spin from the yellow and I like this rock position right because he's got one ship at 45 and one ship at 90 so great uh, arc coverage there a little 2k from the bomber himself set up for next round. All right, let's see some uh, some T70s here. Bastion and Finn are up. And Jason has just had all day to get the engagement he wants. He's got all the calculates. He's got tons of target locks. It just seems like everything is in his favor right now. So Bastion, three bank. Hey, that's a good idea. Chad knows not to joust the swarm. There's a three bank, gets a little bit of rock coverage. And he's gonna boost away, try and get out of range here. Forward out of Finn. Ooh, didn't need to bank or anything. Bank in from Pava and a focus. Oof. So Bastion gonna run away with his target locks. Okay, so Finn was not locked. It looks like uh, Bastion and Timon. Okay. So those two are gonna Fleetwood Matt, Fleetwood Mac even uh, go their own way.
too hard out of Wexley. And a focus. That's the composure. Uh, Timmons free boost fails into a focus, and so now he's going to search for a lock. Goes for blue there. Should be an obstructed shot. Definitely going to help the uh, vulture droid there. Uh, two hits. Going to re-roll. Does he spend it? Yes. I think this is Grievous. Blank, blank, evade. So that's on Bastion. Two shields. So that tells us Jason has uh, initiated... Er, player one. I almost said it. Focus, focus. Spends it for three. One evade. Spends the Calculate, takes one. And that's on blue. One hit. Two. Thanks to the target lock. One evade and a focus result spins the calculate for two. And yeah, this is, uh, seems to be going Jason's way. Not, I think, one damage so far into one drone and they have not even started their bombardment yet Finn Oof Does Finn Yep, he strains himself Adds a focus and focuses for hit hit crit. One evade, one focus. Gonna take Grievous's calculate. Panicked pilot, it looks like. Oh boy, good luck. <laughs> Where is it wounded? Panic pilot, yeah. There's those double stress. Now the uh, energy shells start. We're going to have crit crit thanks to the calculate. Two <laughs> natural evades. Blue. So the rock that he's on won't obstruct him, but the, the one in front of Bastion might. Or that's Jess, isn't it? Yeah. Two 
two hits. Two <laughs> natty evades again. Oh boy. Remember when I said it was in Jason's favor? Ugh. These dice sure aren't. All right, yellow into Bastion, who has no mods. I'm gonna spin the lock. Spins the two calculates one from himself and one from a friend. So that'll give him two uh one hit and two crits on Bastion. Boy! <laughs> Bastion! Calm down! Resistance! <laughs> These evades. All right, let's see. I think all of the, everyone but green shot their, uh, their energy shells. I believe blue took two. It was a hit and then a panicked pilot. Yeah, we see two damage cards there on blue. Thirteen points on the board for Chad gets uh, half of one of these drones, blue. We might start seeing Grievous and the Bomber help out this turn. Yeah, Cupcake says Grievous is the one that needs to do the work. Yeah, I think we're going to start seeing that soon. So I imagine we'll see uh, blue and yellow hang out on the rock. Uh, who's that behind him? Green and brown. Seems really susceptible there to these T-70s. Do you send Grievous on his own mission to go uh, address Bastion? Does snap turn in there? Does he fit? If he turns in right through those asteroids, can he thread that needle? Yeah, what do you do? Bastion is, is dangerously close to half points. Do you bring him back into the fight? Or do you sort of bait with him? Try and draw fire.
Yep. Blue's going to stay there. Relieves all stress, but Panic Pilot double stressed him. He's on one hole, so may not be long for this world. Two bank. There's the calculate. Looking to gum up the works here. Oh, looks like this one doesn't make it. Ooh, and that'll be three on the rock. He's going to have to roll for it. So, Lux out doesn't take any damage for it, but that's one less gun this turn. Finn's going to move. There's the one bank. Might bump. There might be enough room. Oh, he fits. And he sits. Oh, he relieves that stress. I mean, strain. <laughs> and we'll see the double focus, no doubt. That droid's probably gone. Here's Bastion. He's running. Nope, he's K-turning. <laughs> Get some distance and turns around. Fair enough. Ooh, spinning the BB charge on Papa. Oh, maybe not. Maybe the, uh, Maneuver revealed wasn't blue. No, it's a two. Uh, Turd is still flipped. Or maybe it was just a positioning of the uh, the template for the barrel roll. Bank out of Grievous, and a focus. He's not going to push his luck. All right, let's see what old Timon did. Two forward. Oh, man. Yeah, Brown. GG, well played. So Bastion might be locking a different ship. He's going to believe in Jess and Finn to wipe out Brown. So Grievous has a range three into Bastion. Spends the focus for three. 
one evade. Takes two on Bastion. That's 24 points on the board for Jason. Yep, into uh, blue with one health. Will be obstructed for Bastion. Hit crit. Spins it for hit hit crit, and that should be a dead droid. Yep. All right, blue is off the board. 25 to 24. Still very close. But uh, Brown almost certainly off the board. Soon here. Who do you shoot with first? That's, that's Jess up there, so she has to shoot first. I think you should, yeah, you shoot her into brown and then hope that uh, you kill it and let Finn shoot at green. Three hits. Gonna spin her charge for the reroll. And spin the focus for four. Takes three, and that is Brown out of the game. And this is what we're used to seeing out of drones. Now can Finn take out another one? Oh, that was uh, Bastion into Grievous. You see Grievous is healthy. Yep, he took a shield down there. Finn, looks like a hit focus. Yeah. Spins it for three. And yep, that's a dead drone. That's uh, that's probably what we're used to with drones. Loses three in one round. I'm going to check uh, yellow on Finn. to Timon. Range two. Spins these calculates for two hits. Double blanks. And that is uh, Timon. No heroic. Just takes two on the shield.
All right. 75 to 24. Huge round for Chad. Deletes three ships in one round. Man, Finn is so scary. <laughs> He's so efficient. He is probably the best attack ship. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe Timon, but like in terms of consistent damage and he's the cheapest ship in this list I think we'll see Grievous try and kill Bastion try and get some points on the board Yeah, the bomber still got energy shells. So the question is, does he turn to engage this three-ship brick of resistance, or does he try and catch uh, Bastion? I mean, Grievous should be able to work Bastion on his own. Looks like they're ready to go. Maybe not. Yeah, still thinking about some of these. Definitely uh, Chad's game to lose here. Yep, yeah, just going to sit and spin with yellow. forward. Yep, just shooting towards Bastion. Alright, so uh, Bastion and Finn. Finn's going to start us off. One hard. So not even concerned about getting rid of that strain. He just wants to shoot. Thanks for the follow. All right, here comes uh... Let me see. discussion about whether uh, 
strain stacks or whether it works like um, tractor beam where it's, it just reduces by one no matter how many tokens you have. Sounds like it, it's like a uh, tractor. Just one, no matter how many strain. Ooh, a little sloop. I don't know that that uh, is advantageous in this scenario. Move that guy out of the way. Three hard out of Bastion. No, that's uh, Timon. And he's going to do a real boost, not fail it. Of course, that's giving. Well, eh, I guess Grievous always had him as a target. If Grievous doesn't have Bastion, he'll definitely shoot into the side of Timon. Reroll two blanks. Oh boy. Yeah, three hits and a crit into the bomber. Hit, hit, crit. Direct. It's on one hole. All right, Bastion into. Oh, Bastion's going to take a lock on the bomber because why not? So Jess, range two into yellow. Gonna re-roll one. Spends it for one. Yellow's got three. But uh, Jess probably pretty confident she's not gonna sh get shot, but I don't know. Shooting Finn is usually not great, but he is strained. Uh, they're seeing if it's obstructed. Looks like it's not. Three dice, range one. Going to add a focus result with a strain and focus for three. Spins it, takes two on yellow. into the yellow maybe probably doesn't want to shoot at Grievous yep 
We're gonna shoot at the oh boy. And two evades takes the crit. It was blinded. Yellow is gone. And man, I oh boy, I don't see a way back into this game. All the drones are done. It's Grievous and a bomber. A bomber on one. Blank, blank, crit. There's the evade. Yeah, Mystic. It's your fault. We know the people you bet on don't win, and you, uh, you chose Jason. You've doomed us. Grievous has got some work to do here. <laughs> yeah, right now this bomber just feels like points on the table for Chad. Don't know that there's much he can do to surprise anyone with it. Jess looks like she's in a weird place because she can't. Can't turn towards the engagement. Probably going to have to spend this time turning away or talon rolling. Thanks for the follow. Destro, thank you very much. Yep, there's the bomber with a K-turn. He's going to go out with his arc facing the enemy. The one bank from Bastion. It looks like Finn has Arc on the bomber, and that should be enough. Relieved one of his strain, but not both. It's a four with Jess. Never what I think it's going to be. <laughs> think he's going to turn away. Think he's going to talon. He does a four forward. Great play out of Chad. Goes for a boost. Yeah, he's got plenty of room next turn for just to do it too hard. Oh, no, 
doesn't fit. It's a bump from Grievous. Oh boy. So Bastion's behind Grievous. There's a uh, two bank from Timon, and there's the focus target lock. Grievous looks for a shot on Jess. Looks like he's got it, range three. Gonna reroll two of those for one hit. Five dice, one paint. It looks like an evade out of Jess. It's painful. Hit crit crit on the bomber. Blank focus. Looks like a direct hit in there, and the bomber is dead. And now it's just Grievous. 136 to 24. Spins the focus for two hits. Oh man, none of these rerolls are working for Jason. Two hits on Grievous. Yep, four left on Grievous. Sebastian remains two hull. Man, 24 points on the board. That is... Did not see that outcome in the cards. Will we see Grievous 3k? 3k, 3 sloop. Will he go up towards... That's just at the top of the board, I think. Sebastian moves first, right? So... Three bank. Maybe a boost. Try and block that uh, Talon from Grievous. Yeah, what, what a crazy beginning, right? Because... Uh, Jason had the perfect beginning of this game. He gets all, gets like two turns to move his target locks and uh, get all of his calculates in order. Moves into the engagements, loses three ships in one round. I mean, it was brutal. I saw Chad, you know, run with Bastion and I was like, oh no, this is, it's happening again. Uh, it was that Republic list again where the arcs moved up and, and, uh, Rick and uh, Obi-Wan disengaged and it was like, oh, you're just serving these two ships up on a platter for the drones to chew through, but it's different when it's two dice evade ships um, and there's more of them with arcs on target. Two very different games.
bump from Bastion. There's the hard two. Just focuses. One bank from Grievous. Looks like he might have escaped Finn's arc. And takes a focus of his own. See if Timmons turning around. Looks like a 4K to me. And that it is. And we've got at least two arcs on Grievous. Gonna shoot into Jess. Not gonna spend it. There's an evade out of Jess. McCree, thanks for the follow. Uh, nothing out of Timon. Let's move to Jess. Range 2, hit hit crit. Oh boy. One evade, takes hit crit. Console Fire uses uh, Impervium Plating to get rid of it. One sixty-eight to twenty-four. Bastion moves the lock over to Grievous because he did just receive a damage card. Yep, spends a lock. He's got one hit. Just one. Grievous gonna reroll with his ability. Gets a focus, spends it for one of eight. All right, 59 minutes left. And at this point, it just feels like the sort of slow death of the Separatists. A thousand cuts. I think we've got one more charge in Impervium Plating. Other than that, no, uh, no tricks. Got a stressed fin, so no sort of... Well, he wouldn't K-turn here. Uh, yeah, probably a one bank. One forward. Try and block the one hard from Grievous. Otherwise, he's probably three slooping, maybe. Uh, Jess does move before him.
Yep, there's the one bank and the double focus. Bastion with the one forward. Focus. Four K. Does a one hard. Jess has not taken anything yet, so ooh, we could barrel roll focus. What? Barrel roll focus, man. You got a linked action, man. What are you doing? Why be in the arc if you don't have to? Maybe he doesn't think he can fit it. There's the boost from Timon. Looks like hit, hit, crit. And a focus. Spins the charge for the reroll. Takes two on the shields of Jess. Spins it. He's taking hit crit. Loose stabilizer. Has to go straight. He's on one. Oh, it was a ship card, so he spins impervium. That's right. He's at two. This is Jess. Hit hit crit. Two natty evades takes the crit. Fuel leak. Now might be the time for a, a sloop from Grievous. Does that stay on the board? Maybe? Maybe not.
Yeah, I was, I was watching uh, part of the GSP stream last night, and uh, Dion brought up a good point, which is that extra shield and how much it matters on T70s, which is that you can get three damage in and still not half points that ship. And yeah, man, you really feel it in, in, in places like this. Although he still hasn't gotten all the shields off of Tim and or Jess. Alright, we see the 3k pattern analyzer double focus out of Finn. Here's the Talon out of blue. Doing a talon or a sloop. Ooh, he does fit and he does sit. Timon. Is it a Talon? Sure is. He's going to go as far back as possible, widen out that arc. Two on Bastion. See if he can get him up. <sighs> Spins the lock. Hit crit. Takes the crit. Stunned. Check an arc here for Timon. Comes Josh, the judge. Make the final call. Nothing. Looks like it's going to be up to Finn and Bastion. I think Finn is out. Yep. Bastion. Range two. Two hits. He rolls it with the target lock for a focus. And that's it. Good game. Congrats to uh, to Chad. Takes it home. Has all of his ships on the board, too. Oof. 224. And that's going to do it. We have our champion. Uh, thanks to the players for playing. Thanks to the players for playing. Thanks to everybody for watching gonna do it for the tournament thanks for watching till next time this is scott signing off